Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for today's video it's the first ever vlog in bali so if you guys watched my vlog last week then you'll know that i'm currently in bali right now to do my yoga teacher training so today is actually the first day when i left off with you guys it was last night or yesterday and all that you missed is just all of us getting together meeting one another getting like the lowdown on the program and yeah then i went to dinner with my roommate and we went to bed i do feel like a little i think my sleep schedule is just a little wonky but i'm assuming that's gonna like even out over the next you know, few days, but I woke up a little early this morning because like, I'm like 13 hours ahead of myself or where I were from Toronto. So I was up at like five and I couldn't fall back asleep and our days start at 7.30. So I figured I would come up and watch the sunrise. Now I climbed on the roof of the resort, which they showed us that you could do. And I'll give you guys a quick little pan of my view right now. So that's currently my situation. The sun hasn't quite fully risen over the horizon yet so once it does I'll show you guys but um, from what I gathered last night when we did the program like opening it's going to be a pretty intense like three weeks so it's gonna be really fun I'm really I'm excited I'm excited to challenge myself I'm excited to just like have the discipline to do so much yoga and meditation in a day and I'm excited to like all the people here are so nice you guys are gonna see I think some new sides of me in these vlogs because it's gonna be intense like it's definitely gonna be intense our schedule is from Monday to Saturday and and then we get Sundays off and we get about two hours off a day. But aside from that, it's like all guns blazing, like yoga, meditation, all of the, just all the groundwork. So a little fun fact while I'm here, I'm gonna be detoxing off of coffee and I'm also gonna go makeup free. So it's gonna be three weeks of no coffee and three weeks of no makeup, which is gonna be amazing. The makeup part won't be hard. I've done makeup detoxes before. I, like I did one literally last year around this time, the coffee one. When I was at the Hong Kong airport, I literally got two lattes cause I was like, this is it. This is my last caffeine little kick for a while. So. I got a hazelnut oat milk latte but like a caffeine detox is like legit for your body like you get headaches you get shaky hopefully I won't I'm hoping that this will just like take my mental focus so much that my body doesn't have time to react to the no caffeine I'm really um I feel like I haven't fully gathered that I'm even here yet and I'm like anticipating exactly not only just like the yoga the yoga aspect of it but I really just feel like this is gonna be a big soul dive and like a spiritual journey so I'm really excited for that too that said the Sun is now officially peeking over the horizon. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna do a little morning journaling and uh, watch the sun come up. Then we're gonna meet up with the class at 7.30 and begin our day. break of the day um, so far it's been really really awesome we started off this morning with meditation then we followed it up with some morning yoga and then we did like very basic yoga then afterwards we had breakfast which you guys saw then it was uh, more of kind of the theory and all of that like we just had like three I think it was almost three and a half almost four hours of um, almost like classwork and now we have a two hour break then we go back and we do more class tonight and then we do an hour and a half of yoga to end the day so I'm using my break I just took a shower which I needed so badly um, I was like I've been sweating like crazy since I've been here so I took a shower I'm gonna let my hair air dry um, my skin is already it's gonna take a few days for my skin to catch up with this whole no makeup thing so I feel and not only that like kind of TMI but like 
I'm like, I should be getting my period. So I feel like I'm just like a hot mess right now, but that's cool. And uh, I'm gonna head over and grab some groceries. So we actually have some like little kitchenette stuff. I showed you guys in the tour, I think from last week's vlog. So I'm gonna walk and try and find a little spot to pick up just a few little grocery things that I can keep here. I wanted to take a nap, but I don't think I'm gonna have time. But one of the things that I'm definitely gathering is that I'm gonna I'm gonna try and take like the best care of myself while I'm here so that I don't it doesn't become too much because it is a lot. So and that's kind of the plan. Also, I'm wearing the this is gonna be weird because I'm basically gonna show you my boobs right now. But I'm wearing the new top from um this is from Moonstone, Maine. I showed it to you guys as well last week in the how I prep for vacation, how I prep for this trip. So this is what the top actually ended up look at, looking like, and it's so cute. Also, my boobs are super swollen because like I said, I'm about to get my period, so. There's also a bunch of Australians here surfing, so. I belong, I belong to you. Do just what you want. little fact I definitely ate something that was not very good for me last night and I kept on having to leave class to literally go get sick which is kind of gross but it's the truth so we're currently on break right now we have about two hours kind of like yesterday it's now Tuesday but um, given the fact that I was like throwing up and stuff I'm feeling a little like weak and queasy so I'm using my break again today to just kind of chill out a little bit and not push myself too hard right now I'm just like oh god right now I just don't feel well at all I mean, given that I'm vegan, I'm eating a lot of like fruits and vegetables and stuff. And I think it must have just either been, there was this like tofu roll that I got last night that I think the tofu either could have been bad or that salad that I had with you guys just before this clip. That could have also been, I don't know. There was a couple pieces of lettuce that I was questioning, but I ate it anyway and I don't know why. And then this morning, like I felt like really nauseous when I woke up and then this morning, I felt nauseous throughout the morning yoga. Then we went downstairs and had our breakfast and after breakfast, I was just like, nope, tossed all of my breakfast back up. And that's day two of yoga teacher training. I don't get nauseous very easily. So I have like a pretty, I would say strong stomach. So I don't know what happened, but homegirl was not feeling good at all. My two roommates names are Tiff and Paula. And I, I don't know where Paula went, but Tiff just went to the beach and to get lunch and to like do a whole whack of things. And I'm just like, girl, I'm inspired, but I can't move. I said I really do need to hit a grocery store because I don't want what just happened to me to happen again. Thank God, like everybody here is so nice. I've been given like medications and stuff for multiple people, so I feel like if I just like lay down for a little bit and let it sit for a little while longer, I'll feel better. It's my update as of today. I'm just gonna like lie back down for 20 more minutes. Give you guys a little grocery haul maybe after I go. Catch up with you guys after that. <laughs> Is this not the biggest apple you've ever seen in your life? So, it's now Wednesday. I think today I might try riding a scooter for the first time, which is kind of terrifying. There's a couple of cute shops and stuff just down the street. The drivers here are a little crazy, so I'm gonna bring my little GoPro so you guys can witness it. Yeah, but this is gonna be really interesting. Thursday and um, to give you guys like a just a quick little update I ended up writing it renting a scooter slow down Kaylin so I rented one for the rest of the time that I'm here you guys know how sick I was the other day I'm not throwing up today but I still don't feel a hundred percent apparently there's this thing here called Bali bot Bali belly and uh, I think I may have it it's definitely not fun, um, but we're gonna go to the drugstore and just pick up some stuff for that. All my clothes are already a little dirty and I won't have time to do laundry, I feel like, for the next couple of days, so I just feel like I wanna check out maybe a thing or two. But yeah, that's kind of my Thursday update. Um, you guys also saw, we did like a meditation this morning where we focused on candles, and that's personally a favorite meditation of mine that I do back at home, so it's been cool learning about the different meditations, learning about the history of yoga, learning about like, just the art of yoga and the background of yoga and how, where it comes from and all the mythology and like even just the fact that yoga, like physical yoga, only started being practiced about a hundred years ago, which is crazy. Like before that, yoga was just considered meditations. I feel way more settled now. I feel way more 
just like excited and just happy to be here now. Not that I wasn't before. I was just definitely struggling the first two days with being sick and being so outside of my comfort zone and just all that jazz. Today is also too, like I've noticed the coffee thing the, like the most today in terms of just how tired I feel. Aside from the coffee detox, aside from the Bali belly, I'm like, I feel just overall very like weirdly calm, but also very happy and elated. So yeah. That's currently my update, my Thursday update. Just introduced you verbally, so just, Hi. just, just say. <laughs> well, I'm Lynette. I'm from the Netherlands. No, you won't hear that from my huh? accent. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm doing the teacher training together with Kaylin. She's also teaching me pretty much how to scooter. Also, this is this is my new scooter. We're gonna a red one. A red one. I know. I like your white one though. <laughs> Yours is so cute and like. With the helmet with the cat on it. Yeah, okay, I got Jip, but I'm thinking we should just call this the Bentmobile. That's a mood. Pop it in. Yeah, and then you've got it on the seat, and then you press this, and then it opens oh, from the back. Oh, there we go. I'm literally describing this as I'm a pro, but I'm really not. <laughs> like third time. All right, we're good. Yeah. to go for a run this morning oh my god it feels so much better we sit a lot during the day in class like during theory lecture philosophy yoga philosophy like whatever you want to call it just during class um so during the day we're sitting and listening and like writing in our books and all that stuff but we're sitting on the ground and like i feel like if you've been watching my vlogs you know how much i usually run so my legs were just getting a little bit like crampy and sore. I only did about four kilometers, but it felt so good. Mind you, it's completely different running here than Canada, Like, but it felt really nice to just like sweat it all out, jump in the pool, take a quick shower, and now I'm gonna just wrap up all my yoga stuff and head to the yoga class, because we start with meditation. I'll go through, I think, the whole just like class 
if you guys want to know the whole schedule and stuff maybe i'll do that in next week's vlog so i started my saturday so today is the last full day of classes and then we have tomorrow off and then that's the end of the first full week which is crazy to me so we also do this thing here where after our meditation and yoga we go to breakfast but we do a silent breakfast so everybody sits together and nobody speaks and it's actually one of the most peaceful things ever i feel like it's something i want to take home just the idea of doing a full like silent morning aside from updating you guys would be really cool i just feel like i really love it i love the intuitive eating aspect of it i love just the like essence of noticing everything around you feeling grateful like blessing my food just, just like taking each bite super intuitively i sat in the sun yesterday to have my breakfast and it's just been the like light and day compared to how i felt at the beginning of this week everybody is just like in the same mindset on the same wavelength into the same things like it's just i needed this more than i i think i knew So it is now Sunday. It's our first day off. Just like stick around and try and find things to do around here because I'm gonna have to call Expedia, get my flight changed. There's a lot of like background stuff that I need to do today, but that's okay. I decided to come out here, just do a little bit of morning yoga, do a little bit of morning meditation. So this is one full week without coffee. This is one full week without makeup. This is one full week without, I mean, I don't really drink a lot, but alcohol and just like a lot of the distractions that I feel like sometimes tend to feel like mandatory back at home not alcohol but again you know what I mean I've felt sick this week as you guys saw I've had headaches I've been exhausted I've been tired the no makeup thing like if I'm gonna be really really honest with you guys like it's really shown me just how much I rely on makeup to like feel good about myself because I've noticed myself like look in the mirror and be like ooh, like I feel like I feel like not pretty I don't know it's really weird but and like so totally untrue but it's just weird how like our egos kind of tie into these things and and then when you stop using them you think like poorly of yourself if that makes any sense it's really just brought to my attention like maybe just how insecure I can be sometimes and how I mask it with these things and don't really notice it it's been really nice to kind of detox from them and just see what's underneath it all and clearly underneath it all I have some work to do clearly there was a lot going on underneath the surface that I like wasn't looking at and it's like impossible not to here. <laughs> I'm just really doing a lot of like self-reflection and questioning like why I feel these things. Like why do I like not feel good about myself? Like why do I <sighs> just put all this pressure on myself all the time? It's just like really, it's a lot to process. I feel like I'm just going through like a really big transformation and it's hard to feel insecure when you're going through those transformations because you feel like you don't really have solid ground to stand on. My throat keeps cracking. I just like haven't had time to like process everything. And the other thing that's have been happening since I've been here is my dreams have been really, really vivid. I just like, I wake up and I almost kind of forget that I'm in Bali. Like I've been crying in like every weekly vlog, but in my change, I'm looking at everything that's in my life, like my job and where I live and my lifestyle and wondering like what is it that's missing that's m making me feel like there's something missing you know also i'm a big believer that there's never necessarily anything missing it's always kind of like within ourselves but clearly i've attached to so many things on the outside that i feel super insecure about when i don't have those things anymore it's kind of like really cool to go head first in those feelings but it's also really terrifying to go head first into those feelings and to feel so insecure and make space for your insecurity and to like allow it to kind of be so that you can wonder and question where it comes from and start to make supportive changes so that you don't feel that way anymore i'm not afraid to go home but I just don't want to go home and fall back into the same patterns and miss all of this like soul work that I'm doing. I don't know if I've told you guys this yet, but the very first night, Leah, who is the teacher that's actually teaching us, she's amazing. Maybe next week I'll talk all about the training and just kind of let you guys in on like that side of things. So one of the things that Leah asked us to do the very first night we got here before any of this started was to basically set an intention while we're here. Underneath it all, there was just like this word that kept on popping up from my intuition and it was just like clarity 
clarity, clarity. Oh my God, why am I crying? When we try and chase change, we're not trying to necessarily change who we are, we just wanna change how we feel. And so if you ask yourself, how do you wanna feel, the answers become more simple. Instead of feeling like you need to travel the world to change yourself or go on a yoga training to change yourself, which I highly recommend, but you don't have to. You just have to ask yourself, like, what, you, what is the way that you want to feel that you're not feeling right now? One thing I've really come to know about myself is that I think I kind of grew up keeping love far enough away to keep myself protected just from being hurt. Because I'm so sensitive, any time that I felt hurt in the past by anyone, from family to friends to boyfriends to anything, it's just made me thicken up this wall between me and allowing myself to care and be loving and compassionate so openly towards people unless it's like through a camera because that's it's a wall, it's a sense of protection. I'm doing a lot of like really intense soul work and it feels really good and it's a lot, but it's really good. I don't know if you guys saw the Oracle deck reading. I was doing that with Lynette and uh, Alina and the card that I pulled was the anchor and that feels so relative. Even the times that it, I feel like I was anchored in the past. I think I was anchored in things that weren't necessarily like healthy. Like when my job, when my business, when YouTube, when work was going the best, I was doing, I was horror, I was in like a bad place. Like I wasn't treating myself well, I wasn't healthy. Again, I got lost in those insecurities and I started to just like amplify them by band-aiding them. And I'm trying to rip the band-aids off and to do so in a, in a time where everything kind of feels like it's going the opposite way. When you change, people are either gonna resonate with it or not, and I think that I'm inviting more people that do, and the ones that don't are welcome to walk away kind of thing, like that's fine. I've really made peace with that in like 2019, but it's still not easy when you don't feel a sense of st stability underneath you, like at really at, at all. Whatever I'm pushing myself through, it's been very intuitive. It's felt like I've been following my intuition through all of this, so I trust that I'm gonna find it on the other side, that I'm gonna feel more anchored on the other side, but I think I've been very unanchored in my own waters for a while. Feeling so emotional, feeling so numb sometimes, feeling so motivated, then feeling so confused and depleted and unsure of what to do. I wanna be really honest about where my mind's at and like what's actually going on and like what this is really bringing to the surface for me and that's what it's all like all that stuff is what's coming to the surface so i'm gonna finish journaling and uh contemplating these deep ass thoughts i'm gonna go do a little bit of editing for this vlog and then go to breakfast and then i'll update you guys on what i'm gonna do today but like i said i i still have to call expedia figure out where i'm going after this and how i'm getting home after this but if this is only week one like what the hell am i gonna be feeling at the end of week two let alone week three it's wild. I'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and buy new flights home. I hate coronavirus. I thought that we had something special. I thought I handled this so well. I know we had the right intentions. But somehow it came to an end. I was looking for a remedy. Sunday night which means that is the end of the first full week of training which is insane because it feels like it was the longest week of my life and also one of the fastest weeks of my life I feel way more grounded than I did at the beginning of this week I feel way more optimistic than I did at the beginning of this week. I feel like I know a hell of a lot more about yoga than I did ever before. I think I was so used to my routines, so used to my habits that the ones that weren't healthy, which weren't necessarily unhealthy, like just drinking a lot of coffee and just saying, like, like I said, just putting way too much pressure on myself and being here, it's opened up a lot of that and it's been like just forced me to look at a lot of those things and be aware of a lot of those things. Now that I'm aware of what my problems are, now it's kind of time to solve them. And then one last little update just to keep you guys posted. And I'll keep you guys posted on all the transformation stuff. But one of the more legit updates, finally figured out how I'm getting home. I'm actually going to have to fly through Australia. So I don't know if we've ever talked about this before. But I'm sure we have. Australia is one of the places that I've always wanted to go to. But it's so far from Toronto that I've never had the chance. And because I'm flying through Australia, 
there's a girl here named Sarah that lives in Australia on the Gold Coast and she offered me to crash at her place for a night. Then I got an Airbnb for like three nights and then I'm gonna go home. I made sure that Bentley is well taken care of. They're gonna watch him for a few extra nights. So I'm basically going home three days later than I thought because of this whole coronavirus thing. But I decided to just turn a bad into a good and get to see Australia for a few days. So that's gonna be also, would that be next week? Or no, that'll be in two weeks from now. So. This is just like so crazy. I'm glad you guys are with me on the journey. I will say this one last thing before I go through the beginning when I felt like it was way harder than I was letting on and that it was like, what did I get myself into kind of feeling. But I feel like you guys are here with me in a weird way. I really appreciate it. I love being able to share my life and I hope it gives you guys some sort of inspiration to chase your own goals. Do what you gotta do to like be whoever it is that you wanna be you know, uncover all the things that you want to uncover, face all the demons that you want to face, and all of that. I guess I just wanted to have a little moment of appreciation for you. Over the last six years of my life, you guys have been such a constant, and that never goes unnoticed, and it means more to me than I can ever express in words. Like, ever. Anyway. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me the first week of yoga teacher training. Like I said, next week I'll share with you guys a little bit more of the yoga side of things. I can introduce Leah to you guys and all of that. I'll try and introduce you guys to more people in the class. I've been hanging out with so many people, but it's a little nerve wracking when you're just getting to know people that'll whip out your camera and be like, hey, talk to my peeps. Now everybody pretty much knows that I'm a vlogger, so we'll see how many people we can get into next week's vlog. Aside from that, I'll see all of you guys in week two of yoga teacher training, week two of Bali, and week two of me, or probably probably week 12 of me crying again <laughs> is what it is you know bye guys